Hi everybody. So today I'm gonna teach you some more sewing tips. Um, I was speaking to one of my uh, customers last night and she said, the bra doesn't fit and I took it apart and I cut it up and I cut something out and I was like, what? <laughs> so, um, of course that's a lot of work because you have to rebeat things and do all kinds of stuff. So, um, I think, I'm not sure, but I think I understand what the problem was. And so I'm gonna show you with this bra. Um, sometimes when you buy a bra, okay, and you put this around, all of this is gaping. It's like hanging like this. No matter even if you put these up on your shoulder and around your neck, the whole bra gapes here and opens. What is happening with this gaping? It's usually because of this strap here is too far out. So, for example, if I had this strap out here, it's gonna gape like this. So I have to move the strap in more, okay? And, um, and it has, so these straps from here have to move in closer. So it usually can come about like an inch in closer. And I'm gonna teach you how to do that. It's not that difficult. It actually looks difficult. These cups are really hard and very sturdy and I don't even really know what they're made with, but they're so, they're just like really hard. They're not like regular bras. So, but I'll show you how to do it. It's super easy and um, you'd be able to fix all your own costumes. So we're gonna take these pin pricks and we're just gonna open them, cut them super easy. Just cut the thread, okay? And now what happens? Now you see, that this is just actually sewn on top of the cup. So uh, it's um, separate from the cup, it's not attached. I mean, it's not attached to the cup at the same time, so this is like a separate piece. So we wanna take this off so we can just move it. So actually, if you're a newbie, <laughs> you, would, you would want to mark where the, the strap is and then with a pin, so like if you take a straight pin, well, for example, let's say this was a straight pin, okay? So you wanna mark where it is here, and then you wanna move it over from that point, okay? So put a straight pin there. So I'm gonna take this off, and how do I do that? It's actually, I think, just, um, Oh, sometimes they glue it as well. But that's okay, the glue, I mean, don't ever put glue on your costumes, but it does hold it in place more. So you just pick the stitches. You'll see the stitches that um, they sewed down the costume with, or the straps with. So I just release them. And even though it's glued, I could just Pull this off. There you go. So you can usually see by the thread where it was sewed. Okay, so I know that it was sewed right around here because the thread marks are here. So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna open the cup a little bit more. So take these stitches out of here and open the cup a little bit more. So we can move the strap closer towards the center of the bust. And please don't use glue on your costumes. The glue is really unnecessary. I don't know why they put glue. Some people do that, I don't know why, but. Okay, so around the, the same area where the, the strap was sewn before, you wanna place the strap into the cup. And then you wanna just hold it up to see that it's not all wanky like this or like that because the straps are, you know, and depending on the angle and where the cup is. So you don't want the strap to come out like this. This way, you want it to lean this way if it's a halter behind your back. So make sure that you lean the strap this way, okay? And that's the way you're gonna sew it on. And if you can, take a pin and just pin that to the fabric and the cup, okay? So I'm gonna use this pin. 
so I can pin it in place. See, like that. Okay, so how do we sew this strap back on? Take your thread, and this thread is heavy, 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 heavy duty thread. Um, it's my favorite thread. It's called Guterman, G U T E R M A N N. Um, it's really fantastic thread, and this thread I think is for like buttonholes or something like that. Um, it's really thick, so I usually cut it at an angle, okay? And then I bought some needle threaders. These needle threaders are um, really good for this kind because this kind of thread because it's so thick. So also too, if you have bad vision, like mine is going a little bit bad, <laughs> then um, you can use these. These are really excellent. And then I buy these. It's like a package of repair needles, and these repair needles are for sails, and for canvas, and for carpets, and for leather. So I use the one for the leather, because the, the leather one has a really, really, really sharp point. It's really super sharp. So I cut the thread. You have your needle threader and your thread. You're gonna put this needle threader into the needle. Okay, so now it's in the needle. And then you stick the thread through. And you pull it back out through the needle to thread your thread. So it's a really handy tool, especially if your eyesight is going. And, you know, sometimes these needles are so tiny. So I'm tying it up in a knot. I have shown how to do that before. And then basically what you do is you start sewing. So starting from the inside, you're gonna go through the fabric and if you have a thimble to push this through because this cup is so hard. So if you have a thimble, it's great. Um, so I'm gonna start in the inside and I'm gonna push this through the cup and it's really, really, really difficult because the cup is strong. Push it through slowly and then just pull it from the other side. Okay, now on the same, on the opposite side, which is like the outside, um, of course, you want to use the same color thread. I'm just using this so you can see it more because it's against the orange. So, um, you go back through the same hole. And you push, you can actually use the table if you don't have a thimble, okay? And push it through. And make sure that the thread doesn't get all caught up in a like a circle and all knotted and tied, which does happen. So make sure it's not knotted. And pull it back. So the next that we're gonna do is we're gonna go across and we're gonna anchor it down on the bottom. So we just go across the length of the strap. And I'm gonna use the table again and just push it through. And just do it really slowly because if you do it fast, the needle will break or something will happen or maybe you'll poke yourself because this needle is very, um, very pointy and it's like, if you picked yourself with this, it's gonna hurt a lot. So, go through and then you can see it's across on the bottom, okay? Across the strap. And then you go back through the hole again from the top. Use the, na the table and push the needle through. 
And now we're going to go up and we're going to make a square. So now we're going to go up again and make a square and then we're going to go across the strap again. And you can do that um, one time is enough, but if you want to do it for more security, you can do it. Or I'll show you, you can also just sew it right here. Okay, so let's do the square and we'll go here. Push it through really easy. And then push it back through. Make sure you don't get your fingers. Okay, so that looks like that. Now I'm making a square and I'm just gonna close it across the top. This strap is really strong in place and I've only done three, I didn't even finish the box. Okay, and there's one more thing that I'm gonna show you that you wanna anchor it down to if you even wanna make it tighter and more secure. Okay, so the last thing, if you felt like, oh, i am got a big chest and this is not enough for me, so you can take from the edges here, so like from here on the side and from here on the side just from the top of the cup and the fabric. So you're gonna go through the fabric of the top of the cup. I'm gonna do it from the inside actually. From the top of the cup, you're gonna go through the strap and you're gonna go through the fabric on the cup. And you're just gonna take it around and just anchor it down in that corner so it's even more secure. You see that? So I'm just anchoring it down in the corner. You can run like five or seven stitches on both sides. And then make your loop and tie it and loop it again and pull it through and pull the string through and just cut the string. And that gives you some extra added safety on the, the edges here so everything's not loose and flopping. So I hope you found that helpful. If you have any questions or comments, you can uh, leave a comment below in my YouTube. And um, you can also come to CairoBellyDance.com. And we have classes there. And you can also contact me through there and also at my blog at aliabellydance.com. So hope to see you next time and I hope you found this really helpful. Um, you don't have to get rid of a whole costume just because the cup is not sitting directly on you. So happy dancing. <laughs>